Okay, so today's lesson we're going to do something a little bit different and we're going to start talking about some of the problem solving strategies that we can use. A lot of the time this year we've been going over uh, strategies, just word problems like 56 plus 34 and things like that, but we're moving into more word based problems and some of the different ways that you can use to solve these problems. And today's strategy that we're going to talk about is drawing a picture. So, what? how do we use drawing a picture to help us solve problem solving questions? Well, that's a good question. Firstly, let's go over again what problem solving is. When you're solving a problem that's got like that's a sentence, there's a few things you need to do before you start answering the problem. So before you start answering the problem, read the problem carefully. It's really, really important, okay, that even if you read it a few times, you read it really carefully and you look for every single word. And, which brings us to our next point, think about what the question's asking you to do. What is it asking you to do? Is it asking you to find the total amount? Is it asking you to find out an order of something or how many there are all together or do you have to divide it or subtract it or plus it? Whatever, you have a think about what it's asking you to do. Okay. The next thing you can do is underline words that you don't understand. So if you don't understand a word or you don't know what that word means, underline it and try to figure that out. And also, underline words are important. So if it has the word all together, how many all together? You would underline the word all together because you know that that means you're probably going to plus them together. Okay? And the other last one is think about which strategy you will use. Now, we're only going to go through one today, but once we, have, once we learn about all of them, you can then start to choose which one you think will be the best strategy for that question. Like I told you today, today we're going to work on drawing a picture. Okay, so when do we use the strategy of drawing a picture? So if the question is confusing to visualise in your head, try drawing a picture. So if you've got a question that when you read it, like you, re you feel really confused and you can't picture in your head what the answer is, sometimes it's really good to draw a picture. Okay? So the question is, a man at Coles, it should be Coles, like the shop Coles. A man at Coles is stacking cans in a pyramid. The bottom row will have seven cans. Each row will have one can fewer than the row below it. How many cans will be stacked in the pyramid? So you can see what I mean by you read it once and you're kind of a little bit confused. You're thinking to yourself, I don't know how I'm going to solve this problem. It seems really confusing. Well, the first thing we need to do is underline some words that you think will be useful, okay? So the man stacking cans at Coles. We don't care that he's at Coles. In a pyramid. Okay, good. So it should look like a pyramid. That's the first thing. The bottom row will have seven cans. So bottom row, seven cans. All right, so I've broken it down. There's a pyramid, and the bottom row has seven cans. Each row will have one can fewer than the row below it. Okay, each can will have one can fewer So the main, than the row below it. So the row below, the cans on top will have one can less. All right, how many cans can be stacked in the pyramid? All right, so let's have a think about it. Firstly, I'm going to draw what I know, and that is that there's a pyramid, and on the bottom row, there's seven cans. So that. So... There's seven cans. You can see I've drawn in here one, two, three. Sorry, let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm building a pyramid, and all they told me was the bottom row has seven cans. Now, you might not have understood some of it, but I'm sure you'll be able to understand the rest, which is we would have to build it up like this to make it into a pyramid. And if this row has seven, they're saying the row above it has to have one less, which is six. So then I try to put them in the gaps here, and I make the next row. It looks like that. So we have six, and I'm sure now you're getting the hang of it, and you're thinking to yourself, I know what's going to come next. The next row above it should be five, which is exactly right. The next row has one, two, three, four, five. And now it's getting pretty easy, so we'll go through again. One, two, three, four. Once again, to row above it, three, the row above that, two, and the row above that, one. Now let's have a look. A man at causes stacking shows in rows it rows ends in a pyramid. Yes, this looks like a pyramid. The bottom row will have seven cans, good, and each row is going to have one less. Is that right? Yes. Now, how many cans can be stacked? Now I can count them. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. The answer to my to my answer is how many cans will be stacked in the pyramid? Twenty-eight. Okay? That is how you draw a picture. To help you solve it. Now at first that question seemed quite confusing but after drawing a picture you can see that it's actually not that confusing and it's quite easy but you just have to think about what the question's asking you to do. All right. The next one's going to seem just as tricky but I promise you if you draw a picture it won't seem it. 
Okay, here's example number two. We have a question that says, Hendrix, Alina, Jackson and Rose were lining up to go to the movies. Hendrix was standing behind Rose, Jackson was standing in front of Alina, and Rose was standing behind Alina. What was their order? Once again, when you read this, you get quite confused because you can't picture in your head what they're asking you to do because it's too much information to think in your head. So the best thing to do is to draw it down. So how do we do that? Well, we write down what we know from the story. Okay, so the story says that Hendrix is standing here and it says that Hendrix was standing behind Rose. So if they're all lining up at the front here, okay, so Hendrix is standing behind Rose, so Rose should be in front, okay? So that's what we know. Hendrix is standing... In behind Rose and Jackson is standing in front of Alina. So if Jackson's standing here, Jackson's standing in front. Oh, so Jackson's standing here and behind Jackson is Alina. Okay? Now it says here Rose was standing behind Alina. So Rose should be standing behind Alina. So that means Alina needs to be here and Jackson should be at the front. Let's see if this makes sense. Let's go through it one more time. Okay. Hendrix was standing behind Rose. Is Hendrix standing behind Rose? He is. Jackson standing in front of Alina. Is Jackson standing in front of Alina? Yes, he is. And Rose was standing behind Alina. Is Rose standing behind Alina? Yes, she is. So the order should go, Jackson's first, Alina's second, Rose is third, and Hendrix is fourth. Even though this question seemed difficult at the start, as you can see, if we went through it, once you draw a picture, it's not that hard. Okay, so here's our last question, and for this question, I'm going to get you guys to try to solve it, okay? So, let's read it, okay? And once we finish reading it, I'm going to get you to pause it and try to solve it, okay? Your turn. Jacob was lining up to buy an iPad. He was standing behind Rosa. Lorelai was standing in front of Abdul, and Abdul was standing in front of Rosa. What was their order? Okay, so remember... Seems quite confusing at first, but write down what you know. Have a look and see if you can figure out who's standing in front of who. Write it down and then try and write the order that they're standing to line up. Okay? So remember, I'll read it one more time. Jacob was lining up to buy an iPad. He was standing behind Rosa. Lorelai was standing in front of Abdul. And Abdul was standing in front of Rosa. What was their order? All right, have a go. Pause it now and see if you can come up with it. And then press play and we'll go back through it. Okay, pause it now. Okay, so hopefully you've gone through it and now we can go and see if we can solve it together as a class to see if you've got the answer. Okay, so let's look at what we know. So the first thing says Jacob is standing behind Rosa. So if Rose is here, then Jacob is standing behind her. Lorelai is standing in front of Abdul. So if Abdul's here, Lorelai is in front of him. But it says Abdul was standing in front of Rosa. So Abdul is in front of Rosa, so Abdul should be there. So if Abdul's there then Lorelai needs to be there. So the order should go Lorelai's first, Abdul's second, Rose's third, and Jacob's fourth. Hopefully you got that, but if you didn't, go back and go through it again and see if maybe you can get your mum or dad to practice with another one and see if you can do it. All right, so remember this strategy is called drawing a picture and this strategy is used the best used when it is hard to picture in your head what's going on, so you need to draw it down on a page to help you. Good luck with it and we'll be practicing it more in class. Thank you.